I will play Dragonflight when Wrath ends. If Dragonflight is still out and Wrath ends, and they and okay, so I'll play Dragonflight if Wrath ends and they and they push us onto Cata Classic. There is zero part of me that wants anything to do with Cata Classic. I would rather play retail than Cata Classic. I think Cata Classic is going to be an absolute fucking dumpster fire. So at that point, I will get Dragonflight because I'm assuming the Riot MMO won't be, won't be out yet. Have they said Cat Classic won't be a thing? They haven't said it's a thing, but they did a survey asking if people want it, basically. And I'm hoping that enough people say fuck no, that they're like, actually, we should just use our resources on Wrath Plus, which for me is the, the clear thing they need to be doing. If they do Wrath Plus, it's going to pop off way harder than Wrath Classic, I think. I feel like this whole conversation uh, has like a negative spin on it. But it's like it's not intended to be negative, right? I'm literally just saying things that happened and things that we want to see. And unfortunately, the things that happened did not align with the things we wanted to see. So it comes off as negative, but it's just like I'm just stating facts at this point. Facts and just general opinions of the community, I guess. What specifically don't you like about Cat PvP? So my issue of Kata partly is not as relevant now, but I felt like the servers in Kata were all really, really fucking laggy. It just did not feel good to play. It didn't feel fluid. It didn't feel good at all. I'm not sure what happened, but this was the first thing. It felt like there was a lot of input lag in the game for whatever reason. And I definitely wasn't the only one that experienced this. So I don't know if this was like a server issue or what. Um, but somehow it felt worse than Wrath. Second thing was, Kata was the start of um, abilities feeling like they didn't do as much. Like there was a lot, it was a lot more spammy and the spam, you, you were spamming the same ability a lot to get the same effects as using an ability one time in Wrath. So it made using an ability not feel as good. So that's the first thing. It, this was the start of the script for me. The second thing is like the pace of the game felt a lot slower. And it felt a lot more forgiving to the defender. And by that, I mean like you can play a comp where you don't have to do anything but survive, right? Your general goal against 90% of the other teams is to survive. Eventually, you're going to win. Uh, and so there's no burden on you to be creative in any way, shape, or form of kill opportunities uh, to try and win the game. All you're doing is playing defensive and trying to fuck up the other team's day. Uh, and this, this expansion spawned a lot of that, which for me is like anti-PvP. This is not the direction the game should be going. Like, in, in my mind, the majority of comps, if not all comps, in an ideal world, should have to be creating opportunities to win the game or, or risk losing the game in the long run. There should be risk there. And there should be some kind of burden and time constraint on playing defensive for too long. If that's not the case, then for me, the game is not in a good state. And Kata was a big, big spawner of that. Of what I like to call the drainer comps. The comps that are easy to play where you don't really have to do anything and eventually you're going to win. Drainer like played like loads of these comps, like double shaman lock, shit like that. Like he, he loves that shit. In the least toxic, flamey way possible, like I'm probably, he'll probably tell you the fucking same thing himself. Like he, he literally loves that shit. And, and he fucking always does well with it, right? So that's like, there's no discredit to him whatsoever, but he's like a really good example in this case. So yeah, that's that's like kind of the second thing I disliked about Kata. And, and third thing, I guess was, it kind of ties into that was literally just meta. Like, the meta was not fun. A lot of the comps that were strong were not fun to play against. And and for me, a game that's... Or rather, a PvP game that we choose to play. Like, classes and comps should both be fun to play and fun to play against. So, like, if, if you look at, say, like, Priest v Mage. Like, this matchup is fun on both sides. There's outplays both sides can do. Like, I'm talking about Priest v Mage inside of an arena game, not just a 1v1. There's a lot of things that both sides can do. Uh, and and you will see results in terms of how your team performs in the game based on how you do in this 1v1 inside of the arena. Uh, and it's fun on both sides. Versus, you know, there's other matchups where, you know, say Priest versus Warrior, where you literally have fucking no tools, uh, and you're absolutely at the mercy and, and reliant on your team, you know, to, to get the guy off uh, or pressure him in some way. Your, your tool is essentially dispelling Sacred Shield off the warrior. That's it. That's your self-peel. This is an example of like a bad interaction inside of the game. And for me, then, I would look at adding or removing certain things from these classes to try and smoothen out this, this matchup without fucking up other matchups. So, yeah, for me, the, the there were a lot of unfun interactions and matchups in Kata that 
were created. So that's like another another thing that just point. And yeah, just gen generally slow pace of the slow pace of the game. They did a little bit of pruning, but it was like there was stuff added as well. So I don't want to. I want. I would say mop was more of the beginning of the pruning rather than Kata. Kata was like some good stuff got removed, but then some stuff got added. Some of the stuff good, some stuff bad, but they also removed some good stuff. So this was kind of sad too. Um, they added Atonement in Kata. Atonement, I think, for me, is the worst designed mechanic ever added to the game for Priest. Uh, and the downfall of Disc Priest and how fun it was just in the game as a whole. Because once you add this, this tool, uh, you can never allow Disc to have good damage again. Because it's going to be too OP for the healing. So then after that got added, you basically watered down all of the Disc tools and made them feel unreactive, unresponsive. Just unfun to use. For me, Atonement should have just been a cooldown that you can use similar to Vamp Embrace in current retail. You can just, I mean, either that or you just select Atonement and it nerfs your damage and you have the option as a talent to take Atonement or not. So you can take Atonement for some matchups, do less damage, but heal with it. Or you can not take it and decide, okay, no, actually I want to be able to do more damage. And then you're done. And then you make your spec way more versatile and you can actually have fun changing and experimenting with different play styles for the spec. In PvP and PvE, depending on fight or matchup. The fact that they never did this was completely beyond me. Especially when the disc talent tree has stayed stale for like four years or something. Sorry, four expansions actually. But what could you do? So yeah, that's why I dislike Kata. I hope that was extensive enough for you.